Hey guys, my name is Jolie Manza, and I'm here with Yoga Journal to teach you one of my favorite mini core sequences. As we all know, the core is incredibly important in the yoga practice, and these three exercises are designed to bring the stability the core is meant to bring to our bodies. We'll deal with the deep core strength, drawing the navel to the spine, lengthening through the arms and the legs, and you'll see the effects of this in your practice. So let's get started. You're going to need two blocks between the three exercises, but for this first one, you'll only need one. So go ahead and grab a block and come down onto your back. You'll take the block in a long position. You'll place one end on the top of the thigh, and then you'll take that same sided arm and press the elbow into the block. Now squeeze strongly between knee and elbow, engaging that right side of your oblique. The head will lift, hands come behind the head, and then draw the left knee in to meet the right. Squeeze strongly in between the right and the left knee, and then begin to extend the left leg out, hovering 45 degrees above the ground. Low back to mat, belly button drawing in, squeezing in between right right elbow and right knee. Go ahead and draw that left knee back in and let's take that four more times. The challenge here is to keep that low back connected to the mat. You've got three more. Drawing it in. Last two. Take it up and on this final one you'll keep that leg extended. Small pulses into the block, isolating through the right side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Draw that left knee in, lower the head, and just take a moment breath. Second side. Let's take that block to the top of the left thigh. Left elbow pins the block between. Lift the head, interlace the hands behind the neck. Engage left side, isolate that left oblique, draw everything in, and then extend that right leg forward. Hover it above the ground, low back connection, and then draw back in. You've got four more rounds, making sure to keep Lengthen the back of your neck. Three more, keep that low back down, draw it in. Final two, and one. We'll keep that leg extended, 10 pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Draw the right knee in and lower the head to rest. Okay, let's get into our second exercise. You'll still just need one block for this. So go ahead and grab the block. This time the legs will extend all the way up to the sky. So nice, strong, active legs, quadriceps draw down. The block will go on that long edge against the tops of the thighs. Lift your head, take your chin in towards your sternum. The elbow points will plug right into the edge of the block. Now take a moment here to really feel the isolation of the belly. Pull the belly button down, the low back presses against the mat, chin to chest, legs active. Now we're gonna do six rounds today, but you can build up to 10 or maybe even 15 as you move forward. So press the elbows in, look forward, and then begin to lower one leg down. Hover 45 degrees above the mat, pull the belly down, and then go ahead and lift back up. Second side, left leg lowers, hover, and lift. Don't forget to breathe, we've got four more rounds here. Taking it up, last three, Final two, and last one. Draw everything in, release your head down, and take the block off to the side. All right, guys, that was six rounds. So remember, you can slowly build up to eight, 10, 12, even 16 rounds of that core work as your core begins to strengthen. We're gonna move into our third and final core exercise, which in my opinion is one of the harder ones. For this one, you're gonna need two blocks. So see if you can scooch that second block back into your hand, still remaining down on your back. One of the blocks is gonna go in between your inner knees. Now what we're focusing on here is our activation of our inner thigh line. So really already begin to squeeze in on that block and feel your adductors fire. The second block will go in between your hands and you're going to lengthen your arms right alongside your ears. Your head's lifted chin to chest. Now with your feet on the ground, pull the belly down and feel your low back kiss against the mat. The challenging part here is to extend the legs. So when you're ready, take a large breath in, exhale everything out, and then extend your legs forward. This is just an isolation exercise. So we're holding here in a static position. We're gonna work towards about 10 seconds. After our 10 second hold, we'll take a break. You can bend the knees, lower the head, and rest the arms. And we're gonna build towards three or maybe even five rounds of that exercise. So one more time, your inner knees squeeze in against the block, 
Lock between your hands over your head. Lift the chin so that your ears are in line with your biceps. Pull the low back down, and when you're ready, extend those legs forward at a 45 or maybe just a few degrees higher. Holding here for 10, maybe 20 seconds as you build strength, and then release and rest. I don't know about you, but my core has definitely worked. Hopefully you found some success with those exercises, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.